In this video, we want to look at the financial and reporting structures that have been automatically generated by the rapid implementation spreadsheet. So let's have a look from the setup and maintenance. We are actually now in the setup area for financials. So if you select your financial reporting structures, you can see the different areas within your financial reporting structures. So first I want to select my chart of account structure. I want to look at the structure for my Acme ledger. So let's click on chart of accounts and I'm going to click on search and this should give me my accounting flex field. And I'm going to look at my structures and I'm going to search for my structure code, which is Acme search so i've got my acme ledger and click on the edit icon so you can see my delimiter it's enabled and these are the segments that i have for my acme ledger so let's just go back to the spreadsheet for you to have a look and if i go to my chart of accounts you can see my segment segment labels display with and this is the structure that we can see you can see all the uh, company line of business account cost center product and intercompany so if i select my company segment let's click on the edit you can see the sequence number the first one display with four column name value set code and then the segment label so let's go back you can see that is the first one column with four and you can see that the is the primary balance and segment so that's replicated for us using our spreadsheet so let's cancel let's cancel this another area that we can look at is the structure instances i'm going to select acme search that's my structure instance and you can see it's enabled and you, now you have your dynamic combination creation allowed which used to be called dynamic insert so if I look at the code you can now see for my structure instance I've got it as BI enabled so if I wanted to select a default type as constant and put in a value I can do that here and this is my structure the structure of my tree is using my Acme company, Acme ledger as my tree name. So it's cancel. So that's the structure instance. So let's look at some of the values. Click on done. And I'm going to go into my chart of accounts. Actually, let me go to my value sets and then we can see the values in the value sets my value set code acme search so we can see my value set code for my acme ledger so let's go in and look at the code independent security enabled is not maximum length five and this is where the instance is getting the details from so if i look at the values i'm going to search uh, we can see the values that have come through from my spreadsheet so if I go to my spreadsheet so each of the different values have come through from here so I can see my my account type financial category so let's go back here you can see this is my account type and if I scroll to the right I should be able to see my financial category you can see my financial category here so you can still come in here and select the financial category if you need to so that's my account uh, values that's my uh, values within my uh, chat of accounts so let's come out of the screen and so we've seen the account structures we've seen the values uh, chat of account structure we've seen the values and that's basically your uh, core of your financial reporting structure from the chart of accounts uh, point of view. 
So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.